Belinda Ground, Frontier Flight 1052, ready for taxi with Romeo, airside 1. Frontier Flight 1052, hello, thanks for Romeo Runway, or er, Orlando Ground, excuse me, forgot that. Runway 18 left, taxi by Juliet 1, Juliet Charlie, Bravo 1. 18 left via Juliet 1, Juliet Charlie, Bravo 1, Frontier Flight 1052. All right, easy enough. Turn the APU bleed off, APU master off. Do a quick flight controls check. Left, right, forward, back, left rudder, right rudder. Flight control check is complete. Runway 18 left. Here we go. Oh shit. Yeah, we did not push back far enough. And aircraft on the ground frequency, Orlando's going ATC 0. Monitor Unicom 122.8 and have a great night. Bleh. Motherfucker. See you, have a good night. Wait, is that a going off? Uh, everyone's getting offline, yes. Well, this ruins everything. 1555 with you, requesting the clock cross 17 right. Got one off. Oh, well, in that case, uh, see ya. Yep, everyone went off. We're going to go zero ATC right now. Okay, well, we lost all ATC. I got traffic off here to our left side. I guess for now we'll go over to Unicom on 122.8. While we taxi out, we'll go ahead and set flaps for departure. We'll follow that aircraft up ahead of us to runway 1A left. Good morning, Orlando traffic. It's uh, Airbus B21. Picking up runway one and left. Oh my god. That dude just ate shit. Uh, what even was that? That guy just did a somersault out of the sky. I think that's legitimately the first crash I've ever witnessed on Vatsit. What is he doing? What in God's name is going on in Orlando? I'm going to tempor temporarily go God mode and give us a little better lighting here so we can see what the fuck's actually happening over there. Hello, traffic. Uh, beer wing 218 taxi to 17 right. Hotel 4, Hotel, Hotel 1. I'm holding short. Orlando traffic. Anyone on Unicom can verify some out of control aircraft on the west side of the field? Rip passengers. Yo, what is going on? I mean, the radar showing JetBlue 541 and A320 outside the airport, but on the ground. Well, I'm never flying JetBlue. Oh, nice. Well, glad to hear you're alive. Okay, well, I just thought he calmed down and then he just launched back out of a residential area. We got traffic behind us now, so we're going to keep it moving. Or he's just going to fucking traffic ramp into us. Okay, uh, we're going to keep it in daylight right now because it is far too risky to go back to nighttime hours. Uh, we're actually just going to keep an on-the-roll takeoff, try to get the hell out of here. Landing lights on, strobe light on, we'll go anti-ice, pedo heat all the way across, and uh, coming up on 1-8 left, we'll give a call here for traffic. Flight turns, please prepare for takeoff. Good timing. Orlando traffic, Frontier Flight 1052, departing 1-8 left, phase 3 departure, Orlando traffic, please advise. Oh my god, he won't leave us alone. There's a runway overrun. That might be a different guy. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. This is what happens when ATC goes offline. Wow, he's just taking out hangers right now. And comes to an inverted rest over on the west side of the field, just off of 1-8 right it appears. Anyways, I actually have to focus on this departure right now. Aircraft seems to be settled right now, so we're going to go ahead and clear ourselves for takeoff. Uh, runway 1 at left is ours. Here we go. Frontier 9082 departing runway 18 left, 
and departing the phase three departure. Atlanta traffic number 564 Alpha Tango, taxi runway 18 left via Alpha. As our frontier brethren departs behind us, uh, we'll go down to the center pedestal. Flaps are coming up, continuing on our departure. We're crossing over Villains now. Altitude restriction there, 1500 feet, got that well cleared. Turn to heading 237 and continue tracking on our flight plan now. Beautiful artificial sunset there in the distance because it really is about 10 o'clock p.m., but due to safety concerns there at the airfield, I had to give us some extra <laughs> daylight. Not sure what the fuck that was. I think there's a turkey on the radio. This is why we need ATC. Joke's on you, the turkey is ATC. GG. We are through 10,000 feet. I'll go up top. Landing lights can come off. And through flight level 180, we'll reset altimeter 29 or 9 or 2. Wow, we were climbing steady at about 4,000 feet per minute there. Flight time to Charlotte, by the way, an hour and a half. Making good time so far. <coughs> there is no traffic control there at Orlando, please. Can you confirm? Definitely no ATC there right now. I'd be careful on your way out. All right. So checking out the moving map feature right now on the Navigraph overlay. We're about to cross over Faith. I'm getting back on course here. I may have drifted off to the right slightly, but don't tell anybody. As we arrive at 37,000 feet, I'll go ahead and level off here. And again, to settle in, I do want to remind you to please keep your feet elbows clear from the aisle as the flight attendant will be coming through the cabin with galley cars shortly. How funny would it be that the entire cabin just heard the album? Orlando, like that. for you guys. Uh Check this shit out. Double contrail pass. Oh, it doesn't get much nerdier than this, folks. That is what I'm talking about right there. Double contrail pass over Jacksonville by level 370. Uh, up ahead is Spirit 3800 from Charlotte to Orlando, and behind him is American 1638 from Charlotte to Orlando, an A320 and a 737 respectively. How can you not love flight sim? I'd like to take a minute to thank today's video sponsor. Do you suffer from hair loss? Wait, wrong script. Navigraph has been providing the flight sim community with flight planning, airport charts, and route maps, and navigational data since 2003. In addition to the in-game overlay that you see being used on today's IFR flight, they have a brand new VFR charts feature releasing soon. The new revision includes a full inventory of VFR tools, including airspace visualization, drag and drop route construction, 3D globe projection, terrain, objects, and landmarks, airport weather, and a lot more. I highly recommend checking them out at Navigraph.com and seeing all that they have to offer. Thank you, Navigraph, for making this flight possible. We'll go ahead and take off autopilot. I'll begin to descend down to flight level 270. In the meantime, we'll go up top, turn the seatbelt sign on. Moving map feature now appearing as we cross over Chevy on our way to Privet. Altitude and airspeed restriction there. We want to be below flight level 290, and that is in seven miles, so we're going to tactical descent this bitch. Charlotte approach is online. Once they uh, ping us, we'll, we'll switch over to them and get our ATC on arrival into Charlotte, and hopefully not miss the runway this time. That is our mission for tonight. Oh my good god. Definitely did not just touch down short of the numbers. Charlotte Approach Frontier Flight 1052, 14,000 descending, Stoker 3. Frontier Flight 1052, descending to the Stoker 3, arrival, looks like vectors, visual approach, runway 36 right, the Charlotte altimeter is 291. Descend Stoker 3, looks like visual 36 right, Frontier Flight 1052. All right, through 10,000 feet, we'll go up top, landing lights on. Chevy 541, welcome to Charlotte Douglas, exit left and able, go ahead, call ground 121.9. 121.9, that's Chevy 541, thank you, sir. That was intense. Frontier flight 1052, turn right, heading 330 to join the runway 36 right, localizer. Right to 330, join localizer 36 right, Frontier flight 1052. Frontier flight uh, 1052, the airport's going to be at 12 o'clock, one tree miles. 
Frontier 1052, field in sight. Frontier flight 1052, clear visual approach, runway 36 right, number 2. Clear visual 36 right, number 2, Frontier 1052. All right, clear visual 36 right, glide slope and low flash are coming in now through 3,800 feet. 8,600 feet of runway available. Plenty of runway to not land short of this time around. Frontier flight 1052, uh, your number two clear to land behind a uh, clear behind a Delta A320 wind zero two zero one zero. Clear to land 36 right, Frontier flight 1052. And we are clear to land 36 right. We will drop landing gear. One thousand. Slight crosswind from the right side should be no factor. One thousand. Got it. Okay, main goal here, don't miss the runway. I'm going to go sterile cockpit to make sure I do that. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Five. And touchdown. Two in reverse. Terminal is up ahead toward the left, so we're not going to use any brake. Frontier flight 1052, welcome to Charlotte Douglas. Go ahead, exit left enable. Go ahead and call ground on 121.9. Left one enable and ground 0.9, Frontier flight 1052. Thank you, Isaiah. Okay, we took the slow speed exit by accident. Attention, all right, time to the show at uh, approach control leads closed. Go ahead, brother, you go 122.8. <laughs> Not sure what's going on in the frequencies in Orlando or Charlotte, but it has gotten weird in both places. But, anyways, switch over to ground. 121.9. Charlotte Ground, good evening. Frontier Flight 1052, clear 36 right on Alpha. Looking for the ramp. Frontier 1052, Charlotte Ground. Good evening, welcome to Charlotte. Alpha Romeo to the ramp, cross runway 23 at Romeo. Alpha Romeo to the ramp, cross 23 Romeo. Thank you, Frontier Flight 1052. See ya. See ya. I'm going to follow wherever this guy leads me. Okay, yeah, he's not moving. We're just going to slowly kill him. Last goal tonight, don't fuck up parking. And attention all aircraft on frequency, Charlotte Ground is now closed. Thanks for flying into or out of Charlotte. Hope you guys have a great night, and we'll see you later. Good night, Charlotte Ground. Good job tonight. Thanks. Take care. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Good night, Dad. Okay, no response on creepily calling the ground controller Dad. Anyways, we'll go up top, turn the taxi lights off. Actually, had my runway turnoff lights, so just blinded the entire terminal and seatbelt signs, as well as the beacon. And then we will go down to the center pedestal and turn left and right engines off. Welcome to Charlotte. Flight time an hour and 35, connection time two hours and five minutes. We have arrived just in time before ATC logged offline, and mission accomplished. We did not miss the runway this time around. Thank you, Navigraph, for sponsoring this video and making the flight possible, helping us out on taxis, departures, and arrivals with the in-game charts overlay. Very helpful program. If you want to check it out, Navigraph.com. Thank you for watching the video as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That'll be it for me. This is Air Force Proud 95, and I will see you next time. JetBlue 1121, contact Detroit departure. Wish him a happy birthday. Departure JetBlue 1121, 5,000 for 7,000. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday, but... Yes, it is. Oh, no. Alright, 1, 2, 1, 2, and happy birthday. Okay.